photography is all about capturing light. Light bounces off of objects, passes through the lens of your camera, and hits the film or image sensor, creating an image. The aperture controls how much light gets through the lens. The shutter controls how long the sensor is exposed to light. And the ISO controls how sensitive to light the image sensor is. In the old days of film, different kinds of film had different sensitivities to light. Some film needed almost no light at all. It was very sensitive, but it gave you rough, coarse, grainy images. Other kinds of film gave you beautiful, clear, smooth results, but it needed a lot of light to see anything. Digital photography, ISO controls the gain, or how sensitive the little CCD or CMOS chip inside your camera is to light. Higher ISO makes your sensor more sensitive to light, but it also picks up more noise. A lower ISO is less sensitive to light, but there's less noise. Electronics aren't perfect. There's always going to be a little bit of noise in the system. When you have a lot of light, the noise is easily overpowered. But when you have very little light, the gain turns up, making the image brighter, along with making the noise brighter. Here's a comparison between high ISO and low ISO. Notice the dark areas. The highlights, not so obvious, but in the shadows, the ISO is very noticeable. Now, you don't always have to worry about ISO. Think of the end result. If you're posting a small image online or printing it out as a tiny little 4x6, this noise hardly matters. You're really not going to notice it. But if you want to print enlargements, say 8x10 or 16x20, suddenly this noise becomes an issue. In most situations, a lower ISO will give you better results.